morning, y'all. I have not had coffee yet today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been up for like three hours and I haven't had coffee. Coffee! <laughs> if you're new to me mainly, my channel, I am a nomad. I travel in my minivan. I live here, here. <laughs> and I have for five years. Same minivan also. It now has 187,000 miles on it and it is running great. Yeah, I like it. So I wanna make coffee. I got my new uh, tray. I've traveled solo for five years and I've traveled around. Um, I go back east to Cincinnati here and there because I have a daughter who lives there. Right now I'm in Tucson. I lived in Tucson for 40 years. I'm originally from Ohio, um, born and raised, but I left very early on in my early adult life and I moved to Tucson. I had uh, four children here in Tucson. Two of them are still here and I love being here. <laughs> Why do I love being in Tucson? Well, one reason is I know it. I can be a nomad here. There are a lot of nomads here and there are a lot of snowbirds who come to Tucson in the winter time. So um, it doesn't have a lot of BLM land here, which is Bureau of Land Management and it's free camping for 14 days. It's run by, it's a federal government uh, program. It's called a Bureau of Land Management. It's undeveloped land. There's no resources on it. There's no water or uh, restroom facilities, things like that. It's just, it's raw land that is maintained and it's owned by, well, it's owned by the government, but you know what? Who is the government? It's owned by us. And it's, it's a pretty good deal. A lot of uh, nomads, us nomads who travel around in our vehicles, we use it periodically. I do like city life. And those of you who have followed me often and for a long time, I do like being in a city. There's places that you can park and you can park overnight and then in the morning you leave and you don't leave any traces behind. You don't leave any footprint. And then you uh, go do what you go, go do what you're gonna do for the day. On a lot of days, I spend my days at a park because I can get nature. I can do everything that I would do in a home because this is my home and it's always with me. As I always say, my suitcase is always packed. I always have everything I need right with me. So let me get this coffee going. Last night, I went, I met a friend um, that was online. I've never met him before, but I knew that him and his wife were living in the Tucson area. And he, it's Marco and Dana, and he is the owner of the Gypsy Minstrel Caravan Facebook group. It's pretty cool. And he does traveling also. I mean, he's sort of, he's a gypsy. I think he really is, um, his, his ancestry is gypsy, which is really cool. He's very artistic. So, um, at this point, I'm traveling with a friend, Paul, and we both went to meet them um, in northern Tucson. And what a delightful couple. What a beautiful home. Um, they're selling it. They're about to go full-time as nomads. So that's pretty cool. That was a lot of fun. Let me get my coffee started here. This is a butane stove. And it just cook in here. Um, people say, well, you need to crack a window. Well, this is sort of, this is cracked a little bit. I have my solar on my roof and I bring my uh, cords through here. And so I can plug in a suspension cord that comes from the solar panel. It's connected, MC4 connectors, male, female, yes. And it comes through the, here. This is the wiring, I've got it taped down. So this is already cracked, but I am only heating like this much water. It doesn't take a long time to do and it doesn't create a lot of fumes. So 
um, maybe with propane, if I was going to leave a heater on in here, yes, I would need to crack a window about like that. But here, I don't do that when I'm making my coffee. So, let me get my coffee going. I just heat water. This is how I do coffee. Everybody does coffee their own way. They have their own way of doing it. I've always, even when I was in Bricks and Sticks, I did Folgers instead. <laughs> I just did. I'm not a coffee snob and not to put down coffee snobs because my daughter gleefully uh, admits I'm a coffee snob. She likes, um, you know, like organic special coffee. She grinds it herself. Uh, she spent a lot of time. She spent, she helped uh, support all the Starbucks people. Yes. <laughs> yes, she did. I think she's doing her own coffee now, but she will stop at a Starbucks. And me, I'm not so much. Um, this is just a flavored powder, and I don't like to carry it in its plastic. This is like a caramel flavor, and I just put it in a baggie. So, put this in my coffee, get things ready to go. <laughs> you think I had coffee because I'm just talking up a, uh, a mile a minute here, but I'm excited about today. I'm excited that it's winter time. And I'm excited to be here in Tucson. Why is that so special for me? Well, for one thing, as a nomad, I know where things are. When we travel around, right, everybody? If you're a nomad, we travel around and we have to get to know our area, which is fun. Oh yeah, that's fun. But it can't, you're out of your comfort zone and it's, you got to decide, well, uh, what laundromat do you do I use? Or where's a good, uh, if I find this car wash, is it gonna work well? Does Is it gonna have the pressure that I need? Well, I don't mind doing that and I think it's fun, but let me tell you something, everybody. For me, to be in Tucson and to know where everything is at, the, where the good and the bad is. I don't want that car wash. I know that one works. And that's the one I'm going to use. The laundromat, do the dryers work? Well, I know that this laundromat, the dryers work great. Now, where's a good, where, where which one's the good Walmart? Because there's is Tucson's pretty large. I know where the big one is and we're going to go in in just a little bit. I, I need to pick up some things. Well, that's a big deal to me. What it does, oh, my coffee's boiling. What it does is it gives me a break. I get a mental break. I get to relax because I know where I'm going. I don't even have to use Google, really. When I do use Google, it's interesting. Oh my gosh, it is so interesting to be in a place where you know exactly where you're going. Oh, that was perfect, perfect amount. Yeah, my, my brew, woo, Halloween, woo. Well, I find it interesting that um, because I'm traveling with Paul, so we punch it in and I say, well, this is in case we get separated on the road because I might make a turn and go fast. Somebody gets in and he can't see where I'm at. But but try to follow me because I know the better way to go because Google wanted to take, <laughs> on places I know where to go, Google wanted to take me the most absurd area, uh, you know, route. And so I really, seriously, when I'm in another area that I don't know, now I know for sure, I'm probably not taking the best route <laughs> because Google just wants me, I. There were a couple times I go, why would Google want to take me that way? I know that I need to go this way. Well, one yesterday, Google wanted to take us. We both had a punch in and it kept wanting me to turn down Speedway, right? Well, you don't know Speedway, but the name of the, it's a big, it's one of the big main hubs going across the city. And it's going to take me down to the University of Arizona, which is majorly clogged all the time <laughs> except maybe at night and i'm like oh she wanted google doesn't understand that the, the university's down there 
and it's going to be a mess. It's pretty much a mess. If school's in session, um, it's going to be a mess. So yeah, I, that was, it, it was an eye opener for me that, yeah, it's good to be in a place where I know where I'm going. I know where I'm at and I know the way without help. And I know the, be the best of the best for me. I know the best of the best for me. So it's a break. I'm getting a break, everybody. So yeah, maybe that's why I'm so, woo, I'm so happy because it's just a little bit of a, a mental um, rest. I'm resting mentally. Let me put my stove away. Now I do have a tripod I want to show you because I really haven't looked at it either. It came in the mail. Another good reason it's kind of nice being in Tucson is my daughter here can handle my packages. It doesn't, when somebody, if I'm going to review something, they'll send it to me, but it's not Amazon, so it's not free shipping. It's not free receiving. So I have to have them sent uh, to a UPS close by where whatever city I'm at. And that cost me money. UPS has really put their prices up. It used to be $5 for something small. Now it's pretty much $10 across the board. So if you are somebody out there and you want me to review something, make sure that you give it to me in a timely manner because I have to stay in the area to receive it at that UPS. That means I have to kind of sit and wait for it. And it does cost me money to review your products now because... I don't live in a house. I can't receive packages in my house. So, but I do have this I want to show you. It's a smaller tripod. I'm always into tripods. Oh my gosh. I mean, obviously. Um, let me move this aside. Put this away. There we go. So, yeah. I'm anxious for my first sip. I bet you are too. Hold on. <laughs> I know. Let me, huh? I know, I'll watch this later. I am in a, I am excited and I want to get this show on the road today. Here we go. Here's yours. Hope you like it. Or tea. Whatever you like. If you like tea, then there you go. You got tea. Because it's magic. Cheers. Here goes. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I'm serious. I have not had coffee yet today. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think? What do you think of my glasses? My new glasses. They're nice. They're, they are... Let me clean this again. They are blue light glasses. Makes the makes a big difference um it's for when you're watching um when you're on your phone it saves your uh your eyes saves them from looking at that light all the time yeah there we go i like them they're designer glasses <laughs> actually they cost a lot of money um, they're designers. A singer designed these. She has a line of glasses, and I really liked them. I didn't even know who it was. I can't even. I can't even remember her name. Um, even the uh, even the clerk. Uh, she's very up and up. Um, I bought them at Dillard's, and she says I never even listened to her either. I said I've never even heard of her, but she has a line of glasses out. Yeah. So another sip. So that's me. I'm a nomad and I travel in my minivan. Yeah. And, uh, I love you guys a lot. Um, I'm so glad, uh, to be here with you. So let me ask you a question. How y'all doing? Are you happy that it's uh, cooler weather? I know a lot of you do like Halloween. I'm not a big fan of Halloween because I'm Christian. Um, but I do like the crisp weather and I like the harvest of the season and it's, it's, it's just nice. So, let's get on with this thing. Enough about me. And then uh, let me know in comments how you are doing. How do you enjoy, um, you know, this season? And let me know, are you a nomad or aren't you a nomad? Do you live in a house? And do you want to be a nomad? 
not every, it's not this lifestyle is not for everybody it just isn't and i'm not going to make it that way uh, that you have to be a nomad oh gosh no uh it's not all rainbows and unicorns it's not all uh every minute isn't uh all hunky dory although i don't i really don't have any problems and i really don't have any issues with it i absolutely love it so with that said it's called is it go photo or goo photo <laughs> goo photo or go photo yeah there we go it's a flexible tripod looks pretty cool i did uh pull it out and only look at but i haven't really opened it up so let's see what we have here and there's There's pictures on the outside, too. Let me see. We... A. Both phone and camera are available. Okay. You can... Waterproof. Okay. Well, let's see. Here we go. This is it. Let's slip it out of its cocoon here. da da da, -da. Okay. Okay, first of all, I'm not a fan of this where this goes up to put your phone in. It goes up. I'm not a fan. I've had two now. They break so easy. They do. So I'm not a fan of that. It does screw off so that I can screw my other one that I like, but I'm using it there. Huh, let me put this back on. It feels good to hold though. This would be cool to uh, even for a um let's see, maybe do this. this would be cool even for a um selfie stick. It's not real long, but long enough for me. Okay. Now this Oh, if I tighten this up. <coughs> if I tighten this up, then this doesn't move so easy. But if I loosen it up, then I can move this around. So it's, it's very basic. But let's see how. Okay, it can stand here. Because sometimes when I'm walking around at the park, I want to stop at a picnic table and talk. Or do some video taping and talk that I can just, I like to carry my phone that way. That way I can sit it on the picnic table. And I do like that the legs are a little bit longer. The one that I have been using, it's a short one that I've been using, is it was only about to here. So, um, and I don't want to carry my big tripod around the park or anywhere that I go that I might, that I might be videotaping. Because yesterday I was getting ready to go, um, one gets, um, to go meet Marco and Dana. Hello, Marco and Dana. And, um, Paul and I went to a laundromat to do laundry and I'll show you that.
is okay so they it bends there we go so supposedly it bends around things we'll see okay bends okay bends that way it seems to be holding doesn't it? it's not like coming out again and then oh okay so it, that's a big deal the one i'm trying to to do right now is to see if it goes right back because you want it to go back you don't want it to start getting all um what i say mishka bobbles you know it's like uh, it doesn't really go back the way it should in the very beginning but this one just did okay i can get it to go back now i'm looking at i've been using a few tripods now and uh, I've had to send two of them back. I used them in the beginning and then something broke on it right away. I return them. Do you know how to return things to Amazon? By the way, you don't have to take a crappy materials and products. What you do is you go on Amazon, you go on your order, go to your orders, the orders you've made, and then you look, click on whatever it is that broke or doesn't work right or doesn't fit, whatever. And there's a, you scroll down and it says return. Click the return. It will show you where to return this product. And I'm not going to return this one, but, <laughs> but I'm just saying, um, that I bought a few, a couple tripods I had to return because they broke within like a week. Or they just were so unsturdy for the price. No, I didn't think so. So what you do is you just click on uh, return and it will follow the instructions. They've got places to, to return them for free. Now, what if you got rid of the box? Because I'm a nomad. I'm not going to walk around with my boxes. And, you know, I'm not going to do that. So what I do is I pick one that's for free. And what they do is they will um, box it for you. It's usually at a UPS that's close by. They have a contract with UPS. They will um, box it for you. You just hand it to them and say, um, I will probably keep it. I said this doesn't work. Well, Amazon will send you a scan and, and just hand UPS your phone and say, this is the, the, uh, the skew for my return. And they bag it up with whatever, um, that works for them and they return it. Yeah. Mm. I will mention though, one time I got a GoPro and they did sent me the wrong GoPro and it would look like a refurbished GoPro. And I bought a bunch of accessories with it too. So, well, I don't need the accessories if I'm going to return this GoPro. Well, I did like three months after I returned it. I got a notice that said, um, we're taking this money out of your account again because we never received the GoPro. That was like $500. And um, what I did was I found a number. Yes, you can find a number. And I called them and they um, put my money back in again into my bank account so you can you know just don't let them um you know bully you or do the wrong thing you have rights and i did return it so from now now what i do is oh now what i do is i keep my receipts for my uh returns i keep them and i keep them in a safe place because you just never know you just never know so let's see how this goes. Let's put my phone on here. I do not like this. Um, uh, Go photo. We need something better. This, These do not work. They break over time. I'm telling you, they just do. What you do is you have to put it up and click it in. There you go. But, oh, it looks easy now. Oh, yeah. But I'm telling you, these break. There's a there's rubber here, and what happens is the rubber starts uh, like falling out. Yeah, it just doesn't work very well. So this would be good for me. Let me get this right. That I could use it, and it's lightweight too. I like that, and I could use this as a selfie stick going through the store. And uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I do like it. So. Looking at the construction here, there's some screws in there. Yeah. There's the logo. Go photo. So go photo. And then a clicker came with it so you could have it out there. And you have to, 
you have to pair this with your phone. That's what you need to do. Pair it with your phone. And then, well, you have to turn it on. And then you pair it with your phone. And then you can, then you can like have it over here and you can stand there and you can click it and take pictures or videos. And there's one for pictures and there's one for video. So this is Go Photo. So thank you, Go Photo. And I do like it. I'm going to use this. I'm going to get rid of my other one that I carry like this. It's a show and I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah. And I'm going to use this one. If there's any problems with it down the road, I'll let y'all know, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Coffee, chit chat, a um, little bit of a, uh, oh, there's some big semis out there. <laughs> I'm being surrounded. <laughs> um, I am at a Walmart and I'll show you, I'm gonna go into Walmart, but I'm gonna show you on the next video because this is getting kind of long here. I'll show you what I got, but I did look out here. Oh my gosh. There are RVs parked out here. So I think they're back to letting people park here. So I love you guys so much. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, give me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Join the Facebook group, Minivan Lisa's Nomad Life. Um, we got a meetup we're organizing. We're just, it's not a, I, I'm just, we're not selling anything. We're not going to have any, um, like, demonstrations, things like that. We're just going to get to know we're gonna you can come park cl close to me i don't think you're gonna be able to get close to me there's so many people coming that you probably <laughs> but we're gonna be in the area we can get some uh a big fire pit going and we can sing around the fire and all i want to meet all of you it's about friendships out here and i want you when you do come out remember to make friends smile and make friends and learn people's names don't just say, oh, I'm bad at names. No, say, I'm good at names. Use their names in the first sentence when you meet them. You know, hello, John. I'm so happy to meet you. Hey, John, what, you know, what do you like to do? Um, oh, you know what, John? If you can use their name, they say, if you can use somebody's name five times within 10 minutes, you got that name down and you are friends for life because they're going to think, well, they think I'm important enough to remember their names. So, yeah, it's important to remember people's names. And that you guys get to meet friends because a lot of you ask, well, I want to be in a, I want to be a nomad, but I don't want to travel alone. It's so scary. Well, guess what? This way you can, you know, you're not going to be able to know who you want to travel with until you actually meet these people. And so... This is your chance to meet them and to see who you want to travel with and if it's a good, if it's a good match. Yeah. And so, it's going to be exciting. Um, if you need, st I have stickers and magnets for sale. And it's a way that you can support me. And go to minivanlee-minivan-lee.com or minivanlee.com. And if you scroll down just a little bit, I got the book, How to Live in a Minivan. Those things support me. I don't have a Patreon account i don't want you to just give me money that's that's weird to me not for anybody else but for me it is i don't want you to just give me money but you can support me and uh keep my videos going and keep keep everything moving along um so i love you guys you guys have a really good weekend and a good week next week love you bye